Ben. It's all about American crafts. And it's a pretty interesting project because it's a 25-year anniversary of this display. Tell us more about it. Yeah, so this is the 25th anniversary of the White House Collection of American Crafts. Um, it's some connotation about crafts, maybe that there's, you know, um, not as high art as, as some, uh, some art exhibitions, but the pieces here are beautiful. They're gorgeous. They are really fantastic works created by hand, and that's the most important thing, that they are, um, you know, made on a potter's wheel or they're, you know, banged out on an anvil in a, in a metalsmith shop. Right, and it's interesting because you see everything, like you said, from woodworking to very ornate sculptures. Yeah. And, and even an artist from Arkansas, too. Yeah, we actually, six, uh, six Arkansas artists contributed to the uh, collection of American crafts because the Clintons were from Arkansas, so got a little special privilege there. Um, so, but it's amazing that we've got, you know, we've got clay, we've got, um, you know, quilts, we've got a rocking chair, we have some of the most beautiful gl pieces of glass that you've ever seen, hand-blown, um, you know, big, massive cubes of glass that weigh so much. It's amazing to think how the artist actually created that by hand. Yes, it, it is. And I want to point everyone, you said this piece over here, which is a centerpiece, but has a pretty neat meaning behind it. Yeah, so we actually talked to Randy Strom, so the artist of the centerpiece bowl here, which was used in state visits during at the White House. Um, the bowl is actually symbolic of the dome of the Capitol, so if you turn it upside down, you're going to see that dome shape. And the three legs of the, of the bowl are the three branches of government. Now that, I love that, I love that. Um, we're going to be here during the show at this exhibit. We're going to show you all around the Clinton Library, and even there's like a pretty cool pop-up shop for just Arkansas artists. We're going to show you that too, Mallory, so we'll send it back to you. We can't wait. We'll see you then, Chanley. Thank you. And happening in just a few hours, the Emmys, just a few hours away. We are live from the red carpet with a look at the glitz and the glam. Plus, most of us rely on technology for our daily lives, like our money, for example. But what do you do when that tech fails? What you can do when everything goes dark? cardio and nothing just seemed to work and so once I researched intermediate fasting I actually incorporated it into myself. It is the new diet trend so many people are trying but does it actually work? We take a look at what some health experts are saying coming up next. But first, your time is 4:11 on this Monday afternoon. You're taking a live look at traffic right now moving pretty well. We will check in later with your traffic report, plus more news and weather coming up on KARK 4 News at 4. The Natural State Funeral Service provides Arkansas families affordable funeral services for their loved ones. Our traditional funeral service with a casket starts at $29.95. We also offer on-site cremation for $6.95. A Natural State Funeral Service serves Arkansas families with dignity and respect. The new Sonic Signature Slinger for under 350 calories. Featuring a Sonic patty made with 100% pure beef, mushrooms, and seasonings. Say yes to flavor. Say no to guilt. Then say yes to flavor again. For a limited time, try new Sonic Signature Slingers. Prepare to order and starting at just $1.99. Uh, swimming, riding bikes, playing basketball, flag football, volleyball on the beach. There's nothing that I can't do. Charles didn't let an accident stop him from finding new hope. I look at every patient just like they were one of my family. They can have a thousand patients, but you're that number one. And you can be very down and come in here, and before you're walking out that door, it's an uplift. New Hope Prosthetics and Orthotics. New Hope for a Brighter Future. Now's the time of year the leaves fill up your gutters as fast as you can clean them. But you can give up gutter cleaning forever with LeafGuard. Call LeafGuard of Arkansas today for the gutter that never clogs guaranteed. It works so well, it's earned the good housekeeping seal for 10 years in a row. And it's backed with a transferable lifetime warranty. Even during heavy rainfall, LeafGuard draws water in while leaves, pine needles, and other debris roll off. Score great savings when you call now during our fall kickoff sale. Receive 75% off labor on a complete LeafGuard system. We make it so affordable. Ask about 18 months, no interest, plus a bonus. Receive a $100 Visa gift card with your purchase. And call during this program to receive a free $50 Restaurant.com gift card with your in-home estimate. From Little Rock and surrounding areas, dial 1-800-678-5862. At Simple Truth, we're proud of what's in our food, like sun-ripened oranges, grass-fed beef, organic greens, and amazing flavor. We're also 
so proud of what's not in our food, like GMOs or high prices. It's the 10 for 10 sale. Mix and match family favorites and get 10 for just $10. Find great deals throughout the store. Simple truth. Available exclusively at Kroger. Sonic's Double Stuff Oreo Waffle Cone. Made from Oreo wafers. Layered with sweet Oreo cream. Real ice cream and Oreo cookie pieces. Talk about Oreo overload. Try one before they're gone. And try order ahead to get happy hour anytime. KARK4 News is sponsored by Hank's Fine Furniture and Mattresses. You're watching KARK4 News at 4. Sexually transmitted disease diagnosis in the U.S. are on the rise. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention reports nearly 2.3 million cases in 2017, nearly 200,000 more than in 2016. Doctors say there are probably many factors involved. We don't have the scare of HIV anymore since the year 2000. We've had truly life-saving drugs for HIV, so people aren't necessarily as afraid and feel the need to use condoms to prevent that transmission. Another finding a partner without knowing their story. If you are sexually active, you can get tested at your family doctor's office. A new study confirms aspirin does not help prevent a first heart attack in older adults. Doctors have long recommended a low dose of aspirin to protect against a second or third heart attack. But researchers in Australia found there was no benefit for healthy seniors. Aspirin users did not have a lower risk of heart disease or live longer than those who took a placebo. In fact, daily aspirin use increased the risk of death in healthy adults, mostly from cancer. One dieting practice is becoming one of the most popular fitness trends out there. It is called intermittent fasting, but does it really work? krk 4s health correspondent Haley Hernandez caught up with one woman who says it does. Tika Collins has been training for bodybuilding competitions for five years. I am a nationally ranked um, physique competitor. She also trains other people to look their best and knows it's a struggle. Personally, she's been on and off of diets until she found one helped shed the pounds she couldn't get off with workouts alone. From dieting, doing two hours of cardio, and nothing just seemed to work. And so once I researched intermediate fasting, I actually incorporated it into myself and my diet and my workouts and everything that I was doing. And I lost about 30 pounds in two months. She went from looking like this to this. There are several ways to try intermittent fasting. The 16-8 method is skipping breakfast and restricting your daily eating to eight hours, such as 1 to 9 p.m., then you fast for 16. The 5-2 method is where you consume five to 600 calories on two non-consecutive days of the week, but eat normally the other five. Eat, stop, eat is fasting for an entire 24 hours once or twice a week. Tika says the 16-8 is her favorite. You can eat a meal every two hours, and I just think that just works for people's schedule better. And there's certain people she swears this will work for. You just have that, this, that stubborn fat, like, okay, I've been working out, my legs are getting tall, my arms are getting tall, but this right here doesn't want to go away. And Colin says this diet is not good for some people, such as those who have suffered from an eating disorder or diabetics, since the illness requires healthy fuel to keep blood sugars regulated. Very interesting. Americans are eating less meat. That is according to a survey from John Hopkins University. Two-thirds of adults said they have cut back the amount of meat they eat. Many said they were doing so to save money or improve their health. And most focused on eating less processed and red meat, which have been linked to heart disease and diabetes. The Emmys return to KARK tonight in primetime. We are live from the red carpet. Plus, let's face it, many aspects of our lives, like banking or money, are all done online. So what would you do if the site goes dark? We take a look at what to do when the tech fails you, coming up next. And another hazy, hot and humid day across Arkansas today. It was a hot weekend and we're off to a rather hot start to the work week. Here in the capital city, 73 is where we started the day up to 93 this afternoon. Both of those well above our averages of 85 and 64. We'll let you know what's in store as autumn begins this weekend in just a couple minutes. Furniture Row, we take pride in furniture that is quality made, affordable, and makes your home look great. Check out the McKenna Sofa, only $4.49, and interest-free for three years. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed, only at Furniture Row. 
tackle gutter problems for good during our fall kickoff sale here at Leaf Guard of Arkansas. You know how awful those clogged gutters can be. And this time of year, it only gets worse with all the leaves falling. Leaf Guard is the answer. It's the only patented one piece seamless system with a clog free guarantee. You'll love the maintenance freedom Leaf Guard offers. Listen to Anita. I don't worry about my leaves anymore, especially on a day like this when the leaves are constantly falling. I would always fret and know that I had to have the gutters cleaned out. It's just great not to have to worry about that. Now's a great time to call. During our fall kickoff sale, receive 75% off labor on a complete leaf guard system and great financing. Ask about 18 months, no interest, plus a bonus. Receive a $100 Visa gift card with your purchase. Grab the phone, call during this program for a free $50 restaurant.com gift card with your in-home estimate. Democrat Clark Tucker, the hand-picked candidate of Nancy Pelosi's liberal Washington allies. In the Arkansas legislature, Clark Tucker often voted present or not at all, refusing to take a stand on controversial issues like guns or education. If Clark Tucker lacks the courage to take a stand in Arkansas, he'll never stand against Nancy Pelosi and liberals in Washington. I'm French Hill and I approve this message because the last thing we need are higher taxes and bigger government under Nancy Pelosi. Thank you so, so much. This year, we decide who wins. No, it's, it's still the voters. Yeah, and we know how that works out. Uh-oh, political. <laughs> you had that dream again, didn't you? I am so cool with it if you had a good dream too, babe. I Feel Bad, special preview Wednesday on NBC. Come discover the power of Tempur-Pedic sleep at Denver Mattress. And right now, get a gift card for up to $300, along with our 365-night better sleep guarantee and free delivery. Denver Mattress is your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. The world's biggest spa sale, 1,500 spas, five manufacturers, 12 locations, going on now at Family Leisure. You're watching KARK4 News at 4. You pay your bills online, you transfer money, or you might simply want to check your balance. We rely a lot on online banking these days, but what happens when your bank's website is down, especially if you really need it? KARK 4's Suzanne Bruner logs in with details. When Chris Gadboy does his online banking, it's usually no problem. But one day, when he went to make a transaction, he couldn't. I was going, you know, went online to verify the amount of funds I had on this account, make some expenditures, um, and I couldn't reach the site. You know, I was frustrated. His bank site was down. Research finds some leading causes for outages include system upgrades, data overload, and cyber attacks. In fact, financial institutions report a 56% increase in attacks in 2016 alone. Banking expert Greg McBride says it could get worse. The more dependent we become on technology, the more susceptible we're going to be to these temporary outages. Sites or apps at several major banks have had issues recently. We easily found customers reaching out for help on social media. Chris says he tried customer service through social media and by calling his bank, but had little luck. It was a continuous busy signal. We reached out to several leading banks that had outages, but either got no comment or no response. McBride says he believes the banking industry is doing what it can to respond to outages and that sites work most of the time. But when they don't, there are things you can do. Just monitor your accounts regularly. When the system comes back up and you're able to log on as normal, just you know, make sure your balance is what it's supposed to be, that there haven't been any types of unauthorized transactions. If you do notice anything out of the ordinary, notify the bank right away. You are protected against unauthorized, unauthorized transactions. And since outages can lead to late bills, pay bills early. Use auto pay. Also, get a backup prepaid debit card or an account at an additional bank. Chris says he uses cash much of the time, but isn't giving up his cyber banking either. Unfortunately, we are very dependent upon the banking system as it is. Now, if you do experience a bank website outage, experts say watch out for con artists who might try to trick you into giving them your information. Don't answer any unsolicited emails and call your bank to make sure you are talking to a legitimate banking representative. Now, from KARK4, your weather authority, Arkansas's certified most accurate forecast.
It's a sizzling Monday across Arkansas today. You think that here we are about the middle of September and we're winding down the summer months. We'd start to see a bit of a cool down. Not so the past couple of days. Late this afternoon, we're holding in the upper 80s and the mid 90s Camden on this September 17th, Constitution Day. It is 97 degrees right now. It's 95 at Mena. 93 at Searcy and 91 at Stuttgart. Now, when you factor in the humidity, which has been running a little bit higher than normal for this time of year, it feels like it's near or above the triple digits in central and south Arkansas. Heat index right now in El Dorado is 102. It feels like 98 at Searcy, 97 the heat index in Clinton and right here in Little Rock with partly cloudy skies. Our current temperature stands at 92 degrees. Dew point is at 70, gives us a heat index or what it feels like outside of 98. No breeze to cool you down, and right now the barometer is 2991, and it's currently falling. Well, not a whole lot going on in the weather maps this afternoon. We do have a ridge of high pressure in the upper levels building across the state and across the northern plains into the western Great Lakes states. Area of high pressure at the surface building in from the Gulf, so our winds are out of the southeast. That will continue to keep temperatures on the hot side, and that will continue to keep things on the humid side for the next couple of days. Meanwhile, the remnants of Florence continue to provide areas of moderate to heavy rain over portions of the New England states out into parts of the middle Atlantic. That low, what's left of Florence, will be moving out to the northeast over the next day or two. We're going to be watching a cold front that will be making slow progress southward. Ahead of that cold front, we're going to continue to see hot afternoons and warm and muggy nights. I think for tomorrow, the rain chances down around 10% or less. As we head into Wednesday, we're going to up those chances to about 20% with the daytime heating and a little bit of a disturbance moving through. Thursday will stay mainly dry across the state. As we head into Friday, though, that frontal boundary is going to start to make slow progress southward. About a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms by the afternoon. Those rain chances a little bit higher up north. By Saturday, as that front moves even closer to northern Arkansas, we're going to begin to see much better rain chances. It's not going to rain everywhere all the time. However, do have an umbrella handy for Saturday, Sunday, on into Monday, because that front is going to make slow progress southward. Southward. Not going to make it all the way through Arkansas, unfortunately, giving us a big cool down, but at least it will provide some chances of rain to the area. It does look like, though, by perhaps the 26th or 27th of September, maybe by then we'll get a cold front that makes it all the way through the state. Little Rock tonight, we are looking for mostly clear skies. Now, with the nights getting longer, we could see a couple of areas of patchy fog toward dawn. Keep that in mind. Look for low down to 73. As we head through the day on Tuesday, it'll be partly cloudy, hazy, hot, and humid with a high up to 94. Your crane team weather impact number for tonight, a one for that possibility of patchy fog late, a zero for Tuesday, a one for Wednesday because those rain chances again at about 20%, not looking for any really significant organized precipitation throughout much of the work week. However, by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, rain chances do go up, Mallory, as that front begins to move into Arkansas. It's not going to clear out through the state. However, it is going to be a focus for showers and thunderstorms. And even though autumn officially begins, you saw that little fall leaf yes, on I'm Saturday. Yes, made me excited. Autumn begins at 8.54 p.m. on uh, Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. uh, we're really not going to see any significant cool down probably until the middle latter part of next week. So okay. it's coming. Just be patient. Can't wait. Best yeah. time of the year. Keith, yeah. Thank you. Coming up, lawmakers say they are proud to pass spending bills this past fiscal year, but some criticize them for not tackling the top issues. Now these lawmakers are defending themselves. What they had to say coming up next. The Mercedes-Benz GLE can help protect you from the unpredictable and the distracted. Its cameras, radar, and sensors can help prevent just about any surprise. Well, almost. Lease the GLE 350 for $5.99 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. The seasonal dropping of the leaves and what have you would just definitely clog the gutters. And I was forever going on that roof, trying to blow them out and keep them clean. That's why Ralph made the switch to LeafGuard. If you're tired of risking a fall off the ladder just to clean out the gutters, then call LeafGuard of Arkansas now. With LeafGuard, you get a clog-free guarantee. So, no more climbing a ladder or hiring someone else to clean out your gutters. LeafGuard's patented design draws water into the gutter while leaves and debris just roll off.
Act now to beat the fall rush for installation and get great savings during our fall kickoff sale. 75% off labor on a complete leaf guard system. Ask about 18 months, no interest, and receive a bonus $100 Visa gift card with your purchase. And don't forget, call during this program, do it now, and get a free $50 restaurant.com gift card with your in-home estimate. Call Leaf Guard of Arkansas. It's Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month. The best time to take home big savings on our tech-filled family of trucks and SUVs, including Titan, Frontier, and Armada. Get to Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month and take home big savings. Save up to 13331 on the 2018 Titan or save up to 3000 on the 2018 Frontier. Hurry, Truck Month ends soon. There's a lot to love at FFO Home. I wanted a new sofa for the TV room. I wanted a new bedroom set. We got no interest financing for our new living room. FFO Home, where great quality furniture lives for less. Living rooms for less. Reclining sofa with power headrest, power recline, and power lumbar, $13.98. Take home an oversized sofa today for only $3.98. No interest financing, too, at FFO Home. KARK4, local news that matters. You're watching KARK4 News at 4. Lawmakers are poised to pass spending bills to fund most of the federal government for the entire fiscal year beginning October 1st. Now they say it has required hard work and good faith negotiation. KARK4's Washington correspondent Drew Petromo joins us live from Washington. And Drew, those some lawmakers are defending their decision to put off the really tough issues like money for the president's border wall until after the midterm election. Is that right? Yeah, Mallory, and you'll remember that hardline immigration policies were really a hallmark of President Trump's campaign. The same can be said for many members of Congress. But actually enacting those laws, uh, those policies into law has been more difficult. Back in March, President Trump promised not to sign more spending bills unless they fund his immigration priorities, including the border wall. I say to Congress, I will never sign another bill like this again. I'm not going to do it again. Six months later, that's exactly what Congress is asking the president to do. If we're going to get a bill done, um, it's going to require a compromise. Tennessee lawmakers Senator Lamar Alexander and Congressman Chuck Fleischman are working on a spending plan they say funds crucial projects in their state. We have Oak Ridge National Laboratory. We're supercomputing so we can be first in the world. The Y-12 plant, we've got the uranium processing facility. The lawmakers hope to pass long-term spending bills before the end of the month, ending the frequent threat of government shutdowns that's plagued Washington. But that means punting on controversial issues as House and Senate Republicans remain split on immigration policy, and they face opposition from most Democrats. President Trump seems to have backed off his veto threat for now, possibly to avoid an unpopular government shutdown just before the November midterm elections. Obviously, we'd like to see that full funding for the wall in that bill, but there are other priorities out there, uh, and he showed flexibility. Still, Republicans believe it's only a temporary delay. They want to take up the remaining spending bills after the election, but before the end of the year. During an interview last month, President Trump said he most likely would not shut down the government over border wall funding, but the president is known to at times change his mind. So House and Senate negotiators will be watching his words very closely as they continue their work. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Drew Petromo, KRK4 News. Andrew, what are the chances that they actually tackle the immigration issue after midterms? Well, immigration is one of the thorniest of thorny issues here in Washington, D.C. It really, a lot of it depends on what happens in those midterm elections. If Republicans are, are really successful, that might give them more leverage to enact, enact policies that they favor. But on the other hand, if Democrats uh, fulfill this blue wave that they've been predicting heading into the midterm elections, it could give them leverage to push policies that they favor. Drew Petromo live in D.C. Drew, thank you. The woman accusing President Trump's Supreme Court nominee of sexual misconduct goes public, and now some Republicans are joining Democrats to slow down the confirmation. Brett Kavanaugh categorically and unequivocally denies groping a young woman at a House party back in the 80s. That claim from a California professor, the Washington Post identifies as Christine Blasey Ford. Her story only revealed once before during therapy six years ago. Critics, critics rather ask, why now? 
you've had your opportunity to come forward and you failed to do that year after year after year. She said she had a civic duty to tell it. Now, Democrats first learned about this in July, but say the accuser did not want to come forward. Now they want the FBI to investigate. You can expect a message from President Trump soon. The Federal Emergency Management Agency is testing a new warning system. The goal is to alert Americans to emergencies like severe weather and missing children. Most cell phone users will receive the alert Thursday afternoon. The message will be titled Presidential Alert, but will indicate it is only a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. Major cell phone carriers, including AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint will participate. Looking ahead, the KARK4 Newsroom is gearing up for it. The news at 5, we send it to Bob Clausen. Hey, Bob. Mallory, how are you? It is Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> you know, and it's one of those things. It was, uh, I guess you could say, certainly was a Monday for the new CEO of Tyson. Mm -hmm. He was just named new CEO, and then he gets word that his house caught fire. So wow. we're going to have the latest on that. So it's a kind of a good news, bad news day for that gentleman, but we'll have more on that. And also families that are already having a tough time dealing with the loss of a loved one, then return from a funeral and find out now they've got to deal with the loss of personal effects because people in situations like this attending a funeral are apparently being targeted by thieves. We're going to have more on that and also the warning that's being tossed out there for folks in central Arkansas. And there's a music program that's helping children with developmental disabilities. It's the first of its kind in Arkansas. We're going to tell you how the curriculum is crucial for developmental growth in these youngsters. And the Department of Health is now offering uh, important record services in each county in the state. We're going to tell you exactly what that is and what you need to know if you'd like to take advantage of that. Mallory, we'll see you at 5. Bob, thanks. See you at five. A new exhibit now open at the Clinton Presidential Library featuring 73 works created by 78 of the country's most famous craft artisans. Chanley Painter is live checking it out. Hey, Chanley. Hey Mallory, we just showed you the beautiful exhibit right upstairs at the Clinton Library. Today's the first day for that. But downstairs you may not realize there's also what's called a pop-up shop with Miss Connie who's kind of put this project together inspired by the exhibit. But it's a lot of Arkansas artists and things that upstairs you can't buy, but downstairs you can buy. That's right. It's all for purchase here. It is. And a lot of beautiful things, a variety of things. Give us a little bit of a tour. Thank you. Well, the first thing that we're going to look at is Tom and Sage Holland who live in Fox, Arkansas. They have been bead since 1989. This is the technique that they use. It's a glass torch kind of a technique. So every bead is handmade. So this is a coral snake which can be worn as a choker or a long necklace. So he's pretty interesting. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have, I mean, purses, brooms, so brooms are just a classic crafts. You know, 1800s people, it was out of necessity that they made brooms. So this is Jerry Lovenstein. Some of his brooms have the hand-carved heads in them. I thought they sort of look like St. Nicholas and a great holiday gift or a hostess gift if you're going to someone's party. So yeah, And that's kind of a good point because uh, you opened this as kind of a temporary pop-up shop. And Secretary Clinton was here last night, and she says she wants you to extend it. <laughs> she did. She loved it so much. She said, is it true that you're not going to be having this here tomorrow and I said it is right now and she said well, I think we should take it out to the end of the year so we've decided that we will the venue will change off and on some of these vendors have big shows that they do annually and so we'll swap different things out so it'll be a constant change but also some holiday things Hanukkah and Christmas Yes. Okay. And I want to show you one last thing, Mallory, before we send it back to you, because these are the most ornate, beautiful creations I've seen. They're Hawaiian helmets and masks and just true pieces of art. Yes, they're all masks. And Gwen Bennett lives in Eureka Springs, and she makes these. Uh, no animals were harmed for this. There's a big statement about that. So these beautiful masks are available uh, in the frame plexiglass, or you could frame this one if you want, or you could just mount it and hang it on your wall. All right, Mallory, what do you think? I love it. Family <laughs> Painter Live. Very fun at the Clinton wow. Center. Coming up, Coca-Cola could soon get into the pot business.